Welcome back, hope you're all okay and recovered from last week's super intense reading. So, this week we're focusing on all the, sing all the single ladies and men. Um, all of you out there that are single, seeing what's going to happen next in your love life, see which direction it's going in, see what spirits say, see what tips they give, see what's kind of going on. Uh, one thing I need to tell you before I start is that I've started teaching sessions again. So, I don't know how many of you know, I read locally for eight years now uh, and then I had to start reading locally and went on YouTube and in that time of reading locally I taught psychic development, uh, mediumship, all that kind of stuff for five years of it. Loads of people over the last year since I started YouTube messaged and said can you teach me? Uh, the answer is yes I am now running uh, psychic one-to-one -one sessions again spiritual uh, classes so if you want me just drop me an email and I can send you all the details over keeping it one-to-one -one at the moment because I'm pretty unsure how I'm going to do a webinar uh, that will come at a later date but one-to-one -one psychic session teaching with me it's all up for grabs <laughs> so I am still all crappy so I presume it is a um, hay fever rather than a cold so this is going to be deck number one and this is going to be deck number two so for all my single people uh, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to focus this just primarily on the future and which direction it's going in, rather than on the past. Oh, but it depends what spirit kind of say. That's my aim. Number one and number two, uh, and we'll see what direction we're going in. I've also pulled out another deck to get an overall card for you. Those decks just really started tingling in my hands. Right. So deck number one. I'm gonna do you one of these first. These are Oracle Deck Hay House. I told you a lot. Hay House had this sale on, didn't they? This flash sale. And I brought Oracle cards, and these are Tarot Oracle. Uh, can I just have a single card for deck number one for an overall theme of where their single love life is going? Let's have a Luke. A Luke. Where's it going? That was Luck. Luke. Can I have one card? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, let's go. Can I have some cards? Can you tell me what's going to happen with those that picked deck number one and their single love life? What direction is this going to go in? What's going to happen? Any advice? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. It always makes me laugh. We try and step away from the past to look at the future and see where it's going, but your past is recurring here. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, let's just get one more for your overall outcome. So, there is conflicting energy in your overall outcome. You are going to be coming up to a number of choices and decisions that you guys have got to make. So, you are going to be, I'll show you your outcomes first and then I'm going to talk you through everything. So, you've got the five of ones, you've got base chakra and you've got sacrifice um which is temperance in normal tarot so what's kind of happening here is you are trying to weigh up your choices and decisions now and you're feeling that you want to get into a more stable and secure pay place but there is something that is holding you back and that is to do with your past so you are trying to move things forward a lot of you are going out dating and feeling that you can't meet the right person some of you are meeting people and then they're kind of ghosting you or they're dropping away from you and the contact's just kind of going or you're meeting them and thinking no you know what i'm not really that interested <laughs> look at my dog she's probably on alert looking at something um so you're feeling like you're kind of playing this tug of war at the moment between your old life and your new life you're stuck between the two chapters and a lot of that is to do with the security and stability and still having a little bit of hope from things from the past reoccurring um also because you feel that you've learned a lot along the way these new lessons that you've learned you want to put into action but you're trying to wait for the right person to do that and that is what we would kind of advise don't just jump from the frying pan into the fire uh, which means go from one situation to the next try not to do like a relationship hop because if you do that you're going to be placing all this kind of energy of stuff that hasn't been resolved in your aura into your new relationship into your new um stability 
Let's just watch me dog. So there's a need for stability, there's a need for security, and there's also this kind of still a little bit unsure about the past. You guys, all of you as a whole, have been through a lot of dilemmas, a lot of trickiness, a lot of stuff that hasn't gone how to plan, and it's affected your self-confidence to a degree. That is now increasing and growing and starting to feel stronger, and you're starting to feel ready uh, for a relationship. A lot of you are ready for a relationship, but you want to make sure it is the right person. Now, if you go and just jump from one to the next, to the next, to the next, um, and you're thinking, well, you're starting into a relationship with each one of these people, it's not progressing in the right direction because you're not placing the right energy into what you are looking for in that person. So if you haven't watched the manifesting video, go and watch that because I talk about bringing new love into your life. But if you need a manifesting plan about that and getting the right person for you for your next stable relationship, just give me a shout and we can get it going. So basically at this present time you guys are torn and um, that tearing of this rope is going to push you in one direction or the other now it looks like you're going to have a chance to reconcile with stuff from your past that is coming forward it also feels that there's a haunting of your memories from the past that is coming to into your present and that is making you feel a little bit insecure whether you are ready to move on whether this is really what you want and um, don't be afraid to make choices and leaps and bounds that are right for you. I always say to people, you are the most important thing in your own life. And therefore, with that self-importance, then you can choose what it is that you want. Don't base what you want on what other people have told you or putting judgments on you. Uh, focus on what it is that you want and go and get it. Go and achieve it. Go and manifest it and bring it into your life. There is new love coming towards you. There is a choice between a number of people. Um, largely, as a collective, it feels to be a choice between two. A couple of you, couple of you, there is more than that. Um, don't be disheartened when you're going out dating and you're sitting there and the person isn't the person that you were kind of hoping or searching for and you haven't got that soul connection. Um, as Jay-Z always says, on to the next one. You know, put it in the bin, move on to the next one. Don't get your, your hopes up, just go with the flow, roll with the energies because in the case of probability, that one person that you are waiting for is going to come into your life. But try not to put a timing on it. Make sure you're achieving what you want to achieve. You're getting who you want rather than just settling. You know, um, something that's really important is, uh, you know, we write these lists, don't we? A list of what we want in a person, you know. Got to be handsome got to be between this age, got to be, I'm sorry, this is from a female perspective, sorry lads, but you get it with the with a woman, um, got to be in a good job, got to have a good car, try and limit it, and you know, if, you, if you're feeling like it's really, really stuck, and you're like, this has got to be that person, try to reel it back a bit, and think about what are the biggest priorities for you, so for me, when I was single, it was like, I need, I couldn't go out with an atheist, because me and an atheist just wouldn't work. It would be like going on the same pathway together, but in two different directions. So you have to think about what it is that you specifically need. Uh, so I needed someone that was at the very least spiritually open. And so try and think about it like that. What are your age limits? What is it that you can forego a little bit? You know, those kind of things. Obviously, you need an attraction. You need a sexual attraction. Um, you know, all those kind of stuff. Yes, it is important. But what bits can you let go of a little bit? And if you can let go of them, like they've got to drive a BMW or a Jaguar, if you can let go of those little bits and wait and see what the universe brings to you, because then you're creating space so the universe can match it. So with your list of your person, what we would advise is, uh, write down what it is on a piece of paper, sit down, put a candle on, chill, meditative state, write down what it is that you want in your person, but start off with the very, very, you can't live without this, like spiritually open-minded, going down to BMW, Jaguar, you know, it's not such a, a big um, need in your life, I mean, some of you might be, but, you know, try and put that at the bottom of the list. Turn it over, flip it, write on the in the envelope, put it in an envelope, write on the envelope, dear universe, and I'll release my intentions of my dream man or my future boyfriend slash girlfriend or my uh, next soulmate to you. Please bring them to me as a, uh, with total ease, joy and glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so it is. Put it somewhere intimate like an underwear drawer. Uh, just keep it safe. Keep it looked after. You know, that is your list of your person. And nine times out of ten, you're going to get that kind of person towards you. But you've got to be open to all opportunities and expect, um, release those expectations of what you definitely want. Let the universe navigate it for you and they will bring that to you. So there is a choice between two people here. There's a choice between the past and a choice between the present. Um, 
there is a karmic energy that's kind of been cleared and that's why you've been where you have been. It feels like a lot of you have been in stagnant energy for quite some time. Some of you are third parties and you're not sure whether moving on is a great plan or whether you should stay put. Again, it's irrelevant what you choose to do because you're still going to have that choice between two people. Um, you will get your golden relationship at the end. You will get what you want in the end of it. But don't let these fears get into the way, okay? So don't let all these kind of stagnant energy that people have placed on you and fears from the past and that you're never going to get anyone as good as they were before, release them, you know, do release meditations. Because that you're trapping yourself in your own thoughts, you're trapping yourself in your own vibration and you're trapping yourself in your own negativity. So release those energies and bring the new to you. You need this, uh, you're ready for a relationship, you're ready for the stability, you're ready for the security. Yes, at the moment you're feeling like you're making the sacrifice in doing it, but please remember that the universe always has a higher plan and there's bigger intentions kind of going on. So what you can see from an earthly level isn't necessarily what is going on in the higher vibrational frequency so release these kind of expectations release these fear okay choice between two a lot of you it's a choice between two people few dates you're going to be trying to find your knight in shining armor rather knight in shining armor armor rather than a twat in tinfoil sorry about my language but i was calling that knight in shining armor rather than a twat in tinfoil that is what you want and that includes you men as well you know so don't settle for less than what you are worth tell the universe what you want it is coming the past is coming back as well and it might just be memories from the past that are coming up and you've got to clear them and that is why the element of sacrifice is there you are going to have a very very tough choice that you have got to make and it's whether to let go of what's been and whether to move on and you will be put into that choice now new relationship wise how long are we looking for uh, a couple of you are going to meet your person in the next two weeks a new relationship in the next two weeks a few of you are going to think it's going to be two weeks and then you're going to meet them and then they're going to pie you which means kind of not talk to you, um, or they're just going to kind of distance themselves from you. So those guys, you're probably looking about three months for a new relationship to step in. With the past coming back, that is going to be after you enter into this new relationship, after you find the person that you like. So your memories are going to kind of be haunting you now, which is why it's time to release those. New love is going to be stepping in. You're going to focus on that relationship. And once you're focusing on that relationship, this past energy is going to come back towards you. And that is when your choice is going to be. Okay, so this is where the st security, stability comes in. And this is where the sacrifice comes in. And this is where you're going to be torn coming in now what you choose to do about it is obviously your personal choice if you wanted to look at that at individual readings we can do that but that is where the energy is going you're going to get what you want in the end and um, there is an element of sacrifice because it's kind of get letting go of the old to bring in the new you know shedding the past so that you can become the butterfly so that you can grow in a new, new relationship new love long-term objectives being met but this old love is going to come back and it's going to be down to you what it is that you choose. And that is deck number one. Okay. If you guys want to book a private reading or a teaching session or a manifesting plan or anything along those lines, just email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I haven't put on the website that I'm doing teaching again yet because I haven't quite worked out how to edit it. I'm a bit confused by it all. Okay, let's do deck number two. So deck number two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly what I did with deck number one. So can I have... An overall card, please, for what is going to happen with those singletons that I picked, deck number two. I've got uh, Beyonce, all the single ladies going through my head now. Oh, the single ladies, all oh, the single ladies. Through my head, it's, it's through my right ear. Uh, my brother's in spirit, my brother, I don't know if any of you are particularly interested with how I got into spirit, my, my brother died when I was like two, um, and I've always seen him wandering around, there's my brother singing in my ear. So, saw him wandering, spoke to him, I've always kind of been spiritually advanced, then I got hit by a car and that was my awakening because I couldn't walk. So I was crippled, like properly crippled, I couldn't walk, spirit helped me walk again, uh, they told me, doctors told me I would never walk so I can walk again, spirit, they also told me I would never work, working again, um, they told me I couldn't do all of these things and spirit, the universe, showed me I could do it right. But my spinal cord is damaged. You'd never believe that, would you? My spinal cord is broken. Okay. Can you give me a card for deck number two and the single people? I'm not quite sure why I told you that. Oh yeah, because my brother's singing in my ear. You've got the same card as deck number one. 
going to have a card, overall card for deck number two. Okay, and let's get one more for you guys. What about my singletons in deck number two? Oh dear me, okay, okay, <laughs> right, can I have some cards for my singletons, let's just get into your energy, I haven't got into your energy on this, you've got on the oracle, you've got conflict and defeat, you've got sacrifice and you've got triumph, there's a bit of a mixed up energy going on here, I don't use oracles very often, but because Hay House had that sale, I feel it's my duty to do that, okay, can I have some cards please for my singletons in deck number two? One, two. Still got that bit of hay fever, so she's please just bear with me. Three. Okay. So Spirit are saying, just as I'm shuffling these, they're saying that you guys are feeling like there's no one else out there for you and that you're meant to be alone for the rest of your life. Please remember that it is when we release situations and detach them that they can come towards us. If we hold on to situations and, you know, looking and searching and this, that and the other, that is when uh, we hit these blocks because we're not creating space for the universe to bring it to us. So, what is currently going on? You guys have been having this bit of battle of wills. You're not sure whether to give up on the whole thing. Um, go and live your single life. Uh, feeling quite alone. Feeling lonely, which also means quite alone, obviously. Um, feeling quite defeated at the moment. Feeling quite a low frequency, a low vibration. And you guys just are not sure, are not sure what direction you're meant to be going in. Now, the good news is your long-term goal with Triumph at the top is showing that there is going to be things moving in the right direction for you. But this is not overnight. You, There is a need for surrendering, okay? So what I mean by that, and I spoke about this in like really psychically advanced reading, um, is that if you're holding on to the situation, you cannot let the universe bring anything to you because there is no space to do it. So the law of detachment, you release the situation, you surrender it, you let it go, which creates space so the universe can bring it to you. So you are going to bring a new love into your life, um, but you guys have to kind of be willing to do that. At the moment, you're feeling as if everything's just got on top of you. you there is that you're kind of looking at other people and seeing them all settled and in relationships and people with kids and family and you're like, I want that. You can have that, but don't block yourself from getting it, you know, let it go, release it. Um, please listen to your intuition as well. A lot of you are getting negative thoughts, which are your ego. And um, these ego thoughts are kind of pressing pause on things moving forward because it is our subconscious mind that manifests and if your ego is getting into your subconscious you are going to be kind of feeling quite stuck and that is going to be bringing on this defeatism kind of energy so there's a need to kind of let it go um not necessarily admit defeat but surrender the situation and when you surrender that that is going to be moving you towards a new uh, direction where you're going to be feeling more confident in yourself you're going to be feeling more secure in yourself and you're going to be ready for new things to happen now for the majority of you you're kind of looking around christmas time that new love is going to come into your life remember time is fluid and it can change but christmas time is where it is at the moment please don't start thinking that you're going to spend every single christmas alone for the rest of your life um Christmas time is looking when this new relationship is going to be moving in the right direction and you are going to be feeling at more peace and more confident um, and you'll have released what energy is holding you back, okay? So basically, if things are holding you back at the moment, surrender them and by Christmas things will be working in the right direction for you. So we have this block that is stopping you bringing the uh, you and your person together. A lot of that is confidence-based. Um, feeling insecure, not quite sure how to communicate. Again, if you're dating, I said this in debt one, if you're dating and you're finding that people um, aren't communicating with you properly or ghosting you or pieing you, as you say in England, um, please remember that that isn't a reflection on you. Now, if you're not quite sure what you're doing and how to handle the situations, I'd advise that you read a book by uh, Brian Knox, Fuck Him, Nice Girls, 
always finish single and that's the same for you men as well it's a really really good book to get you in that power to bring the right kind of relationship towards you so if you're feeling that you're dating and nothing's coming into fruition or you're sitting there and you're swiping left all the time and then when you swipe what uh, right the conversation just kind of goes downhill or you're in love with your long lost friend and you're not really sure what's going on it's kind of let the universe take control of it don't let your self-confidence and what has happened block you from moving yourself forward you're running like towards a bit of a broken tower at the moment okay so these towers have happened all around you which is why you are where you are at the moment because you feel that nothing is really happening in your romantic love life and when things do happen hasn't quite been going to plan you keep running back to the bit that is broken please try to stop running back to things that are broken and um, there is a potential that it can be fixed but you've more got to fix yourself and that's why your confidence is affecting you and your person coming together okay so stop running to the tower release these kind of blocks take out half an hour out each each day for you at this moment in time okay so either i don't know paint your nails see your friends go for a coffee go for a walk um anything that is just for you and that half hour out every day is going to start building up your self-esteem and reconnecting your energy back towards yourself another good idea is to have a, a bath of epsom salts lavender geranium uh, and bicarbonate of soda if you put them in a bath and sit in it for 20 minutes um, it's going to cleanse your energies regularly as well so if you're going on a date with a really nice guy go and have a bath and sit in the bath like at some point in the day clear the energies before you go to meet them don't let fear um come into it because you've been hurt in the past all right the what i love about love is that we go through hell and back for it yeah you, we go through so much pain and then when we start to feel better we start to realize that it was worth it and we start to put ourselves on the line and we start to love again okay and that's what i love about love you can go through the worst heartbreaking experiences you know i'm divorced you can go through it all hard 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 stuff but then once it's over and you start to feel better and you start to feel more confident in yourself and you start to feel like it's not as painful anymore you're willing to risk it all again for love so remember that don't let these fears get in the way that um, there is love okay but learn that love within yourself first once you get that love within yourself then you're going to find the right kind of person for you if you're looking for people to fill the void um it's not going to work with these kind of for a longer term relationship it'll work for short term it'll work for fun relationships if you get what i mean but if you're looking for someone um for who's more long term start with the self-love that will then reflect on the love outside that's kind of never got our techniques about um your inside you know everything is you pushed out basically meaning your inside world is a reflection of your outside world so your self-love will be key in bringing things forward um in your outer world okay so love for yourself will mean that others will will get that love for you so half hour out every day that's all you need to do you can do some affirmations they may help um but you know uh more more about focusing on yourself and doing half hour hour a day builds that self-love energy there's also an element of temptation here again try not to run to the burning tower try not to run to the building you're feeling more secure more stable and um, it's going to be kind of a matter of timing you've got a train here when the train is ready it will come in the other side of things is it's your it is a bit like you are standing at the train uh stop station you're standing at the station the buses are coming uh, the trains are coming in and um, you'll have none you'll have none for like a few a few weeks and then suddenly you'll have a bombardment of trains so if you feel like no trains of new lovers are coming in just stand at the train stop they're going to come in and some of you are going to end up at the depot where there's going to be loads and loads of trains um but if it doesn't feel like it's happening as quickly as you want it to again release that expectation a few of you are going to be going on romantic trips away a few of you are going to have holiday romances as well and um, there is going to be really good sexual chemistry going up again read that book by brian and um, to kind of manage those energies if you're not really sure what to do about them um, security and stability is key for a new relationship and once that happens you have your new beginning with them a more stable new beginning uh, some of you it will be a more di long distance relationship it's not many of you but there is a couple of you that there is going to be long distance relationships so try to get out of this place of conflict and defeat defeat try not to run towards the tower don't let these fears get in the way obviously there's going to be temptation as long as it doesn't spin you backwards too far then you're going to be okay at doing that um 
looking for self love look for love on the inside before you it reflects on your outside world a few of you are going to be going away standing at the train station waiting for the trains to come in there's going to be a few if it feels like nothing is happening the trains will all come in at once the block all those blocks that are stopping you start doing the self-love that'll move things forwards move things forward and then you have a stable beginning with a very sexual passionate strong dominant energy so there is love here it looks to be around christmas time some of you you can speed that up by manifesting um if you want a manifesting plan give me a shout uh i also said at the start of the reading i don't know if you just skipped through that i'm starting teaching classes again so if you want me for that just give me a shout readings as well uh give me a shout just email mr love tarot at gmail.com uh to book in with me website's mystic love tarot.com instagram's mystic love tarot uh and that my loves is it that's day number two Okay, I shall speak to you all soon. Be careful, be safe. Uh, what do we, what me and my guys always say? Uh, be good. If you can't be good, be safe. And if you can't be safe, go and get prom. <laughs> Alright guys, lots of love. Take care. Bye.